Hi, this is Daniel from WCI. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the differences between a control flow and a data flow within SSIS. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project. I have Visual Studio open here, so we're going to click up here on File, New Project, and we'll just call this Test. And click OK. The first thing you'll notice is it automatically opens you on the Control Flow tab, which is here. Now, the Control Flow and Data Flow are going to have a, a nested relationship. So you can have a data flow within a control flow. So if I were to click on this tab, since I haven't created a data flow yet, I get this message saying, no data flow tasks have been added to this package. Click here to add a new data flow task. So I can do that one of two ways. I can go back to this tab and click here to create it. Or I can come back here to the control flow. And if you see up here at the top, you see data flow task, you can just click and drag or double click. And it'll add it to your control flow and create a data flow task. So now when I go to this tab, you'll see now that it gives us the ability to add uh, content to our data flow. So now let's come back here to control flow. Right now the biggest difference uh, between the a control flow and a and the data flow is that the control flow defines a workflow of tasks to be executed. For instance, if you wanted something such as looping, where you wanted to have a process run in sequence over and over until a predetermined rule is met, um, this is something that you would need to do within a control flow. You can also execute standalone uh, SQL scripts. You can execute .NET components, and send emails, and things of that nature. Um, in fact, in, in many cases, the control flow itself may not actually have anything to do with a database or a flat file or transformation of data or anything like that. If we go inside our data flow task by either double clicking here or clicking on the tab up here, we'll see our options on the left have uh, changed. And these are more pertaining to uh, data movement. So a data flow is going to define the flow of data from a source to a destination, whether it be a, a database or a flat file as well as transformations, so any kind of um, aggregations or, so, or any type of normalization of the data. Now within data flow you cannot perform certain tasks uh, such as iterations or any kind of component executions of things that are specifically for the control flow. So for instance, if we scroll down here, you'll see you have all of your sources, destinations, that you can just click and drag over and then you have all your transformations. We have sorting, we have unions and conditionals and, and data conversions. Now when we come back to our control flow, you'll notice that it's mostly executions. Now you can make database changes within your control flow by using things such as the execute SQL task, for instance, where you do have access to uh, making changes to a database. But in regards to the movement of data and the transformation, that is best left for the data flow and the control flow to manage of the content. Hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed and would like to watch more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to our channel.